I have a question today from a very unusual place. Voswa, and I hope I have that pronounced that right, has contacted me from Lesotho. Now, you may be surprised to learn I have been to Lesotho some years ago. It's a landlocked country right in the middle of South Africa, but a very beautiful country. And this lady asks a question about her family and her husband. I'm a born-again Christian. My husband has just joined Freemasonry. How do I pray for him to be free, and how do I pray for my family? Well, I trust that your husband is a Christian, but if he is, I have to wonder why he's become a Freemason. Although a lot of Christians do. They do it out of ignorance, and they just don't understand what is happening. I encourage you to get educated on this, and we have a lot of resources that we can point you to. One of them is my book on curse breaking, which has a section on secret orders and a fairly large section on Freemasonry, and it discusses the curses associated with it. Also, my book, Larson's Book of World Religions, which you can get through our website, has a very detailed section on Freemasonry. I suspect you know that it's not a good thing, but you may not understand how bad it is. In a summation, the real problem revolves around the secret blood curse oaths that they speak as binding curses inside of the Freemason organization from the entered apprenticeship degree onward. Uh, they speak bloody oaths of self-murder if they are ever to reveal the secrets of Freemasonry and the secret things that go on in the Lodge. So just with that, without investigating further in our other material, you can see it's really not a good thing, and it's not a good thing for your family. Perhaps your husband has joined out of ignorance. You know, some of these Freemason organizations are just good old boy networks, and if you want to get ahead, well, it's good to know a Freemason who will help you to get ahead. And, and so for business reasons or whatever, people join the lodge. But your husband may not understand the diabolical history. And I won't take time to go into that now because it's all documented in our books. But our new book, Dealing with Demons, has a specific section on how you confront the historical evil. So that's another one of our books that you need to get. Because your husband has joined the lodge, he will have committed himself as he proceeds through the various degrees to secrecy vows. Things will take place in the lodge that he's not allowed to tell you his own wife under penalty of death. Now, this is serious business. And maybe he doesn't realize that. And what I've discovered is that a lot of guys get into the lodge and, and then discover too late that they are bound by oaths and vows to ungodly men. And then sometimes they're too afraid to get out or too embarrassed to get out. So the sooner that you talk to your husband about this, the better. Now, I know you're concerned about yourself and your family and praying over your children because what your husband has done is an invitation for demonic oppression to come into the home. So if you're a praying Christian wife, you need to take serious authority over what your husband has done in the name of Jesus. And you need to be praying over your children and breaking into the curses of what he has said and done in the lodge. And approach him. I mean, if he really loves you and cares about the family, push him. Ask him point blank. Tell him to describe the ceremonies. Tell him to describe the oaths that he has spoken and, and some of the things that go on in the lodge. Now, if he balks and he won't tell you, that's a clear indication trouble is ahead. Don't do something that's going to damage your marriage, but be strong in the Lord and be very firm in your stand 
that he should not have done this. But again, I say you need to get some good education about this. We have materials av available. And you know, on the internet, there are wonderful Christian organizations, often headed by ex-Masons, and they do a wonderful job of exposing what goes on. So get up to speed on this. Study everything that you can. So when you confront your husband, you'll have the ammunition and the questions to ask him. And my prayers are with you. That before he goes too far in the lodge, you're going to be able to help him and stop this thing and awaken him to the danger so that he can get out of the lodge and your family can be safe. But don't be afraid to take a bold stand against your husband joining the Freemasons. I invite you to enroll today at our International School of Exorcism, an online Bible college of spiritual warfare. It's all right there on your iPhone, your Android, your computer, or your iPad. 24-7 you can study at your own pace. You'll learn about the history of exorcism, healing, deliverance, and spiritual warfare in the Bible and church history. You'll also learn the practical aspects of breaking curses, pulling down spiritual strongholds, and removing the legal rights of Satan. Once you've completed and received a certificate, you then can join with me personally and be mentored side by side with me in my seminars across America. There's no better time than now to learn how to set yourself, your friends, and family free from the bondage of Satan by enrolling in the International School of Exorcism. The most frequent demon that I deal with is the spirit of Jezebel, the most prevalent evil spirit of our age. This demon wants to destroy your health, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your church. Learn the tactics of Jezebel throughout history and in the time in which we live. My book, Jezebel, Defeating your number one spiritual enemy is your key to overcoming this demon which is more prevalent than at any time in human history. Get your copy today. Jezebel, defeating your number one spiritual enemy. He took the curses away from me. Was he Bob Larson? Because he can help you. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers in a whole new direction in life. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. your support for this worldwide outreach to do what Jesus did. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.